All right, so in today's video, we are going to build a 3D cube like that in pure CSS. So back in our code, we just have two files. So index HTML and style CSS, great. We need a div with the class of container. And inside we need a div with the class of cube. And inside we will have every faces. Okay, so face and I can just copy it right there. Each time you will have front, back, right, left, etc. Just to position every every face. Okay, great. We just need that in our HTML. What is important there is the container. Every time you want to do perspective with CSS, you need a container and you need you need a child or children to play with the perspective uh, set on the container. So yeah, let's do that right now. We do have just a little reset like there and a background color for the body. Okay, so we will begin with container. It will have a width of 200 pixel and a height of 200 pixel and a perspective of 1000 pixel. Okay, so if you want to play with perspective in CSS, you need to add that to the container. Okay, the scene if you want. So now we do have a depth of a depth or dips depths right now, like that. You know, a depth of 1000 pixel. Okay, from the screen, you, we do have a depth of 1000 pixel. Great, and we will just put some margin top auto zero right there. So yeah just to put our cube down. Great. So now our cube will have the property transform style preserve 3D. So this is the rule. You need both properties, a uh, perspective on the container to set the uh, perspective deepness, deepness, yes. And on the child or children, you need the transform style preserve 3D to actually use that, um, that 3D environment. Okay. So now we will put a uh, with 100% um, and height 100%, position relative because the faces will have position absolute. So every face will take a position absolute, okay? And a width and a height of 100, 100, and that's all relative to width and height right there, okay? So uh, that's great. We can now place, place our first face so I just find some nice background image just to have this kind of uh, square every, everywhere, everywhere, <laughs> sorry. And we can see the, the face, it's not placed yet. So we will uh, play with two value. So transform, rotate on X. And look, if I put there like 40 degrees, it will start rotating on X, on the X axis. And we will rotate to 90 degrees. So it's disappearing, but it's still right there. Okay. So if I put um, 80, 89, actually, you can see it. But since, since it's really in front of us, it's kind of disappearing. But we will see it when we are going to animate our cube. Okay. So rotate X 90 degree. And we will need something else. Look, we will need a translate on Z, on Z axis of 100 pixel. What is going on right there? The higher the value, the closer you will get to the screen. You will be to the screen, okay? So if I'll put 500 there, it will really get closer, okay? Up to the value of 1000, it will go like behind the screen if you want, okay? Behind the, the camera, because 1000 is actually the, the value of perspective right there, okay? So we are just going to put 100 just to create the mm, dimensions for the square, actually, for the cube, okay? So 1000 on Z and rotate X, X, sorry, 90 degree, degrees like that, great. So it's still there, okay, don't forget, it's still there, it's still right there, great. And there is um, a behavior, if you have already um, translate Z, it will rotate on the X axis, but not on a thread if you want, Okay, not on a thread. It will rotate on a cylinder, cylinder. Okay, with a diameter of one thousand pixel, uh, one hundred pixel, one hundred pixel. Okay, great. So now we can do this with everything. So you just need to. Uh, we will put the background image on the on every face. Okay, 
And now we can start to style everything. So bottom will be the opposite. So minus 90 degrees. And we can do the same for everything. So right and left will be around the Y axis. So we still put translate Z for everything, but this time it will be rotate Y. And for the right, it will be 90 degrees and left minus, minus, great. And then for the front and back, front and back, it will be still rotate X. Okay, it will be rotate X like the beginning. And this time front will be at zero degree in front of us and back back would be at minus 180 degrees like that okay so right now we do have a cube but since we uh, are, we, we are not animating it we can see everything you, we, we just see the front of the the face the front face actually we, we just uh, see the front face so let's create the animation keyframe spin from transform rotate x zero degree and rotate y zero degree and we do want to do um three 360 animation okay um so right there we are just going to copy that and put 360 and 360 right there too okay great so 360 around the x axis axis and the y axis the y axis and the x axis okay and now we need to add this animation to the cube so um, yeah right there animation spin five second seconds infinite linear okay so something is terribly wrong right there actually we need to first rotate and then translate z Okay, so here we are translating the first and then rotating. So we do have this strange behavior. So put rotate every time first and then translate. I will do it right now. Okay, so it looks much better, right? So it's rotating first and then translating. So it can create the good dimension for the cube. Okay, if not, it, it's just not creating dimension. It's first rotating and uh, if you translate first and then rotate, we will not have the dimension. But first you rotate, then you translate. So it will create the good dimension for our cube right there. All right, I hope you understood me well. And now you know how to do a cube like that. So CSS perspective is fun, but it's not always useful. Okay, let's not, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's not always useful. It's useful if you want to do some, for example, a simple loader like that, it can be fun. Or like, you know, flipping cards too. So it's good for some interaction of some animation. Okay, so like, subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.